Good morning. Happy Tuesday. Come on in, one and all. Happy New Year. This is the first live I'm doing since we're coming back from the New Year, so very glad to be back. Uh, I took a couple weeks to kind of refresh, rejuvenate at the end of uh, December, which was kind of nice. Um, but it's really good to be back and be live with you guys here. So as you are coming in today, drop me a comment. Let me know what did you do for the New Year's? And as you guys are dropping that comment, I'm just checking the group. I want to make sure you guys can see me, can hear me. And it's always helpful to see uh, the comments coming in because then I know it's working from this end. Um, so I see Hallie in there. I see Rochelle in there. Good morning, ladies. All right, so Hallie uh, will be tagging some of you to bring you on in for today's live. All right, so let's get going here. Again, as you're coming in, um, give me either a hashtag live or a hashtag replay. Let me know uh, when you're, you're watching this. And I'd also love to hear what you did for your New Year's. Uh, you know, we kind of relaxed. We didn't do much, so I like to live vicariously. For those of you who haven't met me yet, I know we have a lot of new people coming into the group. Uh, my name is Betty Kempa. I'm a business coach for coaches. I'm a marketing strategist, a LinkedIn expert, an IPEC graduate. For those of you familiar with IPEC, I am on the Forbes Coaches Council. Uh, I've been on the council for a couple years now. I'm the founder of the Corporate to Six Figure Coach Academy, and my specialty is helping corporate renegades ditch the nine to five and repackage their genius into a six figure coaching business using my signature method, the five C's of building a six figure coaching business. As always, if you'd like additional coaching support with your business, um, you can reach out to me. You can apply uh, for a discovery call with me. If you you go to my website on the services page there is a, a, a spot where you can apply for a discovery call or you can just DM me um, but I love learning more about uh, your business challenges your goals everybody has such unique business challenges and goals um, and those those calls that people booked are really the opportunity for people to ask questions um, and we can see if you're a fit for the corporate to six-figure coach Academy so again um, as you're coming in I'd also love to hear as you're coming in, drop a comment. What is the number one thing that you want to achieve in your coaching business in 2022? That's always cool to hear, right? Because we're all in a different spot on the spectrum of building a coaching business. What is the number one thing that you want to achieve in your coaching business in 2022? Would love to hear that from you. So today's topic how to figure out where your ideal clients hang out. That's what I wanna talk about today. But before we get started, I'm curious, as you guys are kind of ruminating on the number one thing that you wanna achieve in your coaching business in 2022, I am curious if any of these statements sound familiar to you, because I hear these a lot. I know I could hit six figures in my coaching business in 2022 if, I could just get clarity on my niche. If I could just get clarity on my niche, I know I could hit six figures in 2022, or I know I could hit six figures in 2022 if I could effectively message my niche and offer to my market in a way that really resonates with them, right? Some of you guys have a niche, but you're not messaging it in a way that's sticky that people get it, that they understand what you do and the problem you solve, right? Or I often hear people say, I know I could hit six figures in my coaching business if I could just attract ideal clients to me who will happily raise their hand to pay for my services. So if any of those if statements sound familiar, if any of those struck a chord with you, then now is the time to really walk the talk. And I want to invite you officially opening the doors to register for the free uh, five day choose your niche, nail your messaging boot camp. It's the first one of the year. So excited to roll this out. We're going to have some exciting updates and changes to the boot camp for 2022. 
So if you haven't already registered and you really want to get a jump start on 2022, hone in on your niche and your messaging so that it's sticky and people can understand what you do so you attract the right clients, um, there is a link in the copy of this post um, next to the video. There's a link for you to register. Um, it's bettykempa.com forward slash bootcamp. I will also drop this into the comments here. Let's see if I can do that. Drop it into the comments for you guys. Um, yeah. Okay. So just FYI, I also dropped into the comments the link for you guys to register. Um, but go ahead and get, get registered because it's always a fun time. I give away prizes um, and I'm really there personally coaching each and every one of you on your niche, on your messaging, and on strategy for you to attract clients that fit into your niche. The boot camp is taking place January 24th through the 30th. Um, and this is really meant to kickstart you guys for the new years, right? No more ruminating on niche. Oh, my messaging isn't resonating with people. We're going to solve that problem. Uh, that week, January 24th. Let's knock it out so you can move on to the next thing in your coaching business. So again, check the comments or check the copy near the video. There's a link to the registration page. You have to register in order to get your 12 page bootcamp uh, workbook. So um, excited to see you guys for that. Wanted to make that official announcement before I get going with today's live today. Um, and again, just make sure you register so you can get that 12 page uh, workbook for you as well. If it's not for you, if, if you feel really good about your niche and your messaging and you know exactly where to go to attract clients, um, then please you know go ahead and share out the registration link with some friends uh, who you think could use uh, that help. One last announcement, which I'm really excited about, couple see a couple housekeeping things coming into the new year before I can get right to the training, um, is that I have, I want to celebrate this. I just hired on a full-time employee. Um, she's a member of my team. She's incredible. Um, Heather is her name. You guys will see her in the Facebook group. I want to verbally introduce her to you guys. Um, she is one of our Facebook community managers. So I want you guys to know if you see Heather posting, if Heather, I want you to check your DMs, especially if you're new to this Facebook group, check your DMs um, because Heather might be DMing some of you. Rochelle is the other person, right, who is, is DMing you guys in this group, but now we also have Heather. Now, remember you guys, Heather and Rochelle, they're really here to customize this experience for you. If you have uh, something you wanna learn, the girls are able to go through my videos that I've done in the past and find the one you need and send it to you. Or if I haven't created it yet, today's topic is based on um, something that a member of this group asked me to create. So you guys need something then I create it. So check your DMs um, and please welcome Heather into the group. Um, she's amazing and you guys are going to have a lot of fun with her. Um, and then Heather's probably in our comments saying hello as well. So I'm going to just check the comments real quick before I get going here. Um, and there's Heather in the comments. Yep. Diana, hey Diana from IPEC as well. You know it. Hey, Laura's here. Love it. Virginia's here. Hey, Naya, good morning. Um, all right. Diana says she did absolutely nothing for the new year. Yeah, me too, Diana. That's why I ask you guys so I can live vicariously. We just relaxed. All right, so let's get on to today's topic. Um, and, and again, just the last little reminder today's topic, how to figure out where your ideal clients hang out is a request from somebody in this Facebook group. That was what they wanted to learn, so I created the training for them. So please, if there's something you want to learn, drop into the comments right now. Betty, create a training on da da da. Drop it into the comments because Heather, Rochelle, and I compile that so that when I'm doing a live each week, I'm creating it on a topic that you wanna learn about. So make sure you, you, you tell me what you need. Um, so on to today's topic, how to figure out where your ideal clients hang out. So the idea here is that in order to attract, because that's what we're doing, we're showing up as shining stars, adding value into the orbit of where our ideal client av avatars are hanging out. In order for you to attract ideal clients to your coaching business, first you gotta get in front of them. First, you got to get in front of them. In order to get in front of your ideal clients, first, you got to figure out where they hang out in person or online. 
right? You got to figure out where are they? Where are they hanging out in person or online? Otherwise, and I see this happen and, and it's, it's painful. Uh, you know, otherwise you're posting on social media and you're like, yeah, I'm posting every day. I don't know, Betty, nothing's happening. You know, I'm posting every day, but you're posting to crickets because if that's not where your ideal client avatar is, that's not where they're hanging out, right? If you're showing up to the wrong places, even if you're posting your heart out or doing live videos like this, it's not going to matter. Right. So really, really important that you can identify where do they hang out? The last thing you want to do is put forth a ton of effort showing up as this expert. You prepare, prepare, you create a post, you go live on video, whatever, and it's crickets. Right. So that's what we're going to talk about today. I want to talk about um, what you need to do first before you can figure out where your ideal client hangs out, what you have to do first. There's a little prep work. Uh, two, I want to talk about the best way to figure out exactly where your ideal clients hang out. And three, I want to talk about once you identify your ideal client hangouts, the strategy to transition them to clients, right? Because now you're there. You're like, yes, I'm in the mix. Now what do I do? How do I transition them to clients? So we're going to get going with that topic. Um, as always, this is an interactive experience. I don't want to just be talking at myself here in the camera. So if you have a question um, on this topic or anything to do with your coaching business, drop it into the comments because this is meant to be a two-way dialogue. Um, all right, so let's get started here. Every so often you guys will see me checking the comments here. Um, Heather says, I'm so excited to be here. We are going to have a great year. We sure as heck are, Heather. I'm so excited to have uh, Heather with us. She's so amazing. Um, Sherry's here. Hey, Sherry, thanks so much for watching. Uh, Eileen is here today as well. Okay, and ladies, as we get going here, drop into the comments. Um, what is your number one goal, your business goal for 2022? What's your number one goal? It's good for me to know because then I can create trainings to help you achieve that goal. All right, so let's talk about today's topic, how to figure out where your ideal client uh, clients hang out. What do you need to do first? Because there's something you need to do first before you can start to hunt people down and figure out where do they hang out. There's something you need to do first. And if you know what that is, drop into the comments. What do you think you need to do first before you can even figure out where your ideal clients hang out? Drop it, drop that into the comments if you know. So I'm going to kind of talk you through this here. The first thing you, and you guys, I think probably some of you, even if you don't drop it into the comments, will know what I'm about to say. The first thing you need to do is figure out who your ideal client avatar really is, right? Before you can hunt these people down, where are my ideal clients? First, you have to understand who are they? Who is this ideal client avatar, right? That's the first thing you have to do is paint the picture and get clear on who is the ideal client uh, for me. Now, in order for you to do that, you have to have a clear niche. Right? You have to have a clear niche, which is why I run this boot camp, right? It's the foundation for everything else in your business, right? So your niche is your I help who with what so that statement. And we'll cover this more in the boot camp, but you got to have that first. Before you can figure out where these guys are, you have to know what your niche is. Who do you help? What action do you help them take? And what is the outcome or result that they get from working with you, right? That's the first thing. The second thing you need to do from there is create an ideal client avatar profile. That's the second thing. Drop into the comments if you have already created an ideal client avatar profile. Drop into the comments. Yes, I've created an ICA or no, I have not because I'd love to see kind of where you guys are at with that, right? So you have to create an ideal client avatar profile, right? So you've landed the plan on your niche, and if you haven't done that yet, join the bootcamp. The next thing you have to do is paint a picture of what this ideal client avatar looks like, sounds like. Literally, you wanna be able to shut your eyes and see this client, right? You wanna give them a name, a personality, a profile, 
right? Before we can hunt these people down, we got to know what we're hunting, right? We got to know what we're looking for. Now, if you are already coaching clients in your chosen niche, if you're already testing the waters, um, you know, and, and you guys don't have to drop this into the comments, but think to yourself, who are one or two of your favorite clients that you've worked with? If you're already coaching, you gotta you want to think to yourself, who are one or two of my favorite clients I've already worked with? Um, and this is an exercise I did when I first got started. I started as a career coach before I went into business and marketing. And I came up with, I had just kind of gotten started and there were three women I was working with. Um, I mean, I had a handful, but there were three in particular that I'm like, they are perfect. Like literally, this is the type of person I want to work with. How do I replicate them? How do I find more of this person? And as, um, you know, as we do, you want to start to start to identify what are the common denominators between those people. So, you know, that's what helps you create an ideal client avatar profile. So what I did was I had my three top clients that I was like, I want to work with more of these types of people. And you want to go look at their social media profiles, wherever they hang out online, whether it's LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram. I think I went to every social media profile of my top three clients that I wanted to, to work with. I wanted to replicate. And you want to go look and see which Facebook groups are they a part of? Which Facebook pages do they like? Um, same thing on LinkedIn. What LinkedIn groups are they a part of? Um, what influencers do they follow? What leaders do they follow, right? Whether it's Instagram or LinkedIn, you can see when they're following people. What events do they attend, right? Typically on social media, um, you can see what kind of events people are attending based on what they post, based on, you know, on Facebook, you can say you attended certain things. Um, you know, on LinkedIn especially, you can see who they're following. Study their social media platforms. Study your, your, top, your top one or two or three clients. Study their social media platforms. Create a spreadsheet and identify the common denominators. That's gonna help you create an ideal client avatar profile, um, right? Now, if you're not already coaching clients in your niche, you're just getting started, you wanna start to conceptualize based on your niche, is there someone you know that you'd love to work with? Right? A lot of us are like, yeah, I just, just getting started. I haven't really started coaching in my niche yet, but there's probably someone you know in your network. Maybe you're too shy to talk to them yet or your business isn't up and running yet, so you haven't reached out. But, but share your eyes and think about who, who do you know that you're like, yes, they fall into my niche and I would actually love to work with that type of person, right? And then same thing, go to their profile and take a look. What are the common denominators, right? Um, what do they do for work? What's their job title? What's their industry, right? Um, what's the income of that industry? What's their age? What's their marital status? Do they have kids, right? So bottom line here, what I'm trying to, before we, jump the shark and just start going out into the universe to find the ideal client, we got to know what we're looking for. So create an ideal client avatar profile. Again, in the Corporate to Six Figure Coach Academy, this is a, an entire lesson that I do with my clients. We do an entire training. I have a worksheet where we fill it out and we create the profile. But you guys can get started with this concept. All right, so that is step one. Okay, so just again, making sure I'm tracking here with the comments. Hey, Alessa, nice to see you here. Dora's here. Okay, cool. So let me know, um, again, drop into the comments. Do you have an ideal client avatar profile already? Yes or no? All right, I'd love to hear. And if not, I'll help you create one. So second, let's talk about the best way to find out exactly where your ideal client avatars hang out. So now we have a niche. Now we have an ideal client avatar profile. Now this, now we can actually be like, okay, now what is the best way to figure out exactly where my ideal clients hang out? Because now we know who our ideal clients are. So the best way, again, drop into the comments. You guys probably know what I'm about to say. Sometimes we know the answer, but it helps to hear it from someone. What do you think the best way is to find out where your ideal client avatars hang out? What do you think the best way is? 
Um, and Melissa, we're just reading your comments. Hey, Melissa, nice to see you here. No ICA profile and no idea who it would be. Well, Melissa, for sure, um, make sure you register for the boot camp. Um, I know you might have been with us last time, but register again because we'll deep dive into that, your ICA profile and who it would be. Um, you know, and, and maybe, you know, give me a little, drop into the comments, Melissa, what is your niche right now? Give me your I help who with what, so I can deep dive that a little bit with you. And then during the boot camp, we'll get into it more. Um, but let's talk about the best way to figure out exactly where your ideal clients hang out. Best way is to ask, right? You don't have to guess. You don't have to like, ah, oh, what do I do? What Facebook groups do I join? What networking events do I attend? Let me just cross my fingers. Let me do a Google. Don't do that, ask, you gotta ask, right? So once you've identified your niche, once you've identified your ideal client avatar profile, right? Which again, this is work I do with my clients in the Corporate to Six Figure Coach Academy. Then you gotta go out and ask those people, right? You've gotta ask them. So this goes in line with running an ideal client avatar survey. Now, by the way, in the Choose Your Niche, Nail Your Messaging Bootcamp that we're gonna be running uh, in January that I want you guys to register for, I'm gonna be talking about, right, where you can find these ideal clients. I'm gonna be deep diving into that more. But what you wanna do is run an ideal client avatar survey, right? Once you're like, yeah, these are the three to five people that I'd love to work with, you're gonna ask them questions about their social media habits. Right, so I, I would, if I found the ideal person, I'm like, yes, I wanna work with this person. I would say, hey, you know, can I, can I run uh, a marketing survey with you, right? I'm collecting some information uh, on where, where the people I serve hang out. And I would ask questions about their social media habits. What is your social media platform of choice? Where do you spend the most time online, right? If you're posting, I've seen coaches do this. They're posting on, Instagram all the time and it's like crickets, but their people aren't on Instagram. Their people are on LinkedIn. So don't waste your time posting somewhere where your people don't hang out, right? So that's the first thing, ask them, what is your social media platform of choice? Where do you spend the most time? Um, what is your social media platform of choice when it specifically comes to seeking help to solve your challenge related to whatever niche you have? Right, if you're a relationship coach, a health coach, a leadership. So ask them, when you go for help with that problem, what's your social media platform of choice? Um, and then I would specifically ask, are you a member of any Facebook groups as it relates to whatever your niche is, right? As it relates to finding your dream job, as it relates to losing weight, as it relates to becoming a better leader. Ask, are you a member of any Facebook groups as it relates to that? Are you listening to any podcast? related to insert niche topic. And by the way, why do we wanna know what podcasts they're listening to? Because we wanna get on those podcasts and get interviewed on those podcasts. Um, do you attend any conferences related to this niche topic, right? What, what conferences do you attend? Why do we wanna know what conferences they attend? Because we wanna speak at those conferences. And if we can't be a speaker, we wanna attend those conferences, right? It's all about asking if you if you ask you will receive and then showing up in those places um so you know this could be i mean the best thing to do is always to chat with people like a 10 minute phone call um but you know when it comes to just figuring out where they hang out that could also be a google survey that could be a poll you create as well um now a bonus is what i did right instead of me trying to hunt down, like, where are my people? Where are they? How do I find them? I was like, you know what? I'm gonna create my own group. I'm gonna create the location where people want to join and I'm gonna provide value in my group, right? So you could do that too, if you wanted to. If your people are, my people, you guys are, are cool with coming to Facebook. That's why I'm, I'm here in a Facebook group. Of course, you have to identify if your people are Facebook group people. Um, if like say you have LinkedIn people, then you would just wanna do LinkedIn lives, right? Um, but that's the other solution to the problem is if you're like, ah oh, man, I don't wanna have a list of groups they hang out, you can create your own, right? And invite people to your group. Um, just checking my comments, making sure I'm tracking here. 
let's see. So Melissa, just reading Melissa's um, comments here. Hey, Perlette. Melissa, not 100% clear on niche, which is likely why I don't have ICA. Totally is. Yeah, absolutely, Melissa. Um, so far, I help aspiring or new entrepreneurs get past the roadblocks holding them back from reaching success. Um, oh, Melissa, I'm so excited for you. Got to join the, the boot camp. 100%, Melissa. Um, if you haven't registered for the boot camp, you need to because I'll, I'll pull apart this niche statement with you in the boot camp. We can get that much more honed in, um, especially, let me look at that again. With the who, we gotta get the who more honed in. Aspiring or new entrepreneurs, we have to get much more specific than that. And then get past the roadblocks holding them back from reaching success. We gotta get so much more specific. So this will be really fun, Melissa. Um, definitely register, because I'll pull that apart with you and we will get super, super specific. So you're on the right track we just got to hone in with both the who and the what. So I'll see you in January 24th for sure. Um, okay, so last thing I want to touch on before I sign off today. Once you've identified your where your ideal client hangs out, I want to talk about, just touch on, because it's not really the topic of today, but I want to touch on the strategy to transition them to clients then. right? So once you know where they hang out, you're like, cool, they're in this Facebook group. Um, great, they're, they're on LinkedIn. Um, great, they attend you know, this networking event, whatever it is. You then need to show up there, right? So we're not gonna like beg people to come to us. We're gonna identify where they hang out and we're gonna go to them, right? So you're gonna go there and you're gonna outreach, for example. Um, and outreach should be part of your daily client attraction system. I'm gonna say that again for the people in the back. You should be outreaching, sending connection requests to your ideal clients daily, daily. And this could be something you outsource. This could be something you automate. This could be something you do yourself. But when the outreach stops, the clients stop booking calls, right? If I just stop my outreach, it would be crickets. So once you find out where your ideal client avatars hang out, you're gonna go there and start outreaching, not selling to people in the DMs, but outreaching. And that is something I teach in the Corporate to Six Figure Coach Academy is how to do that. Um, you're also gonna go to those locations, and if it's a virtual location, you're gonna wanna post, right? So if you're, you know, uh, if, if your people hang out on LinkedIn, you're gonna wanna go post. Post on LinkedIn, you're gonna wanna do posts that provide value, right? Posts that teach. Posts that provide a light bulb moment, posts that inspire, right? And it should be on your specific niche topic so people start to see you as a credible expert. So we're gonna go where they hang out, we're gonna show up and provide value. You want, you're gonna wanna do, just like I'm doing right here, a weekly live video where you show up live where your people hang out and you answer their questions just like I'm doing here and you're dialoguing with people and they have an issue and you're helping them with that. So you gotta figure out where are your people so you can show up there live on video once a week consistently. Um, and then you're gonna wanna create content for them, right? So again, this live today is a topic, I didn't come up with this, somebody asked me for help with this. So I created this topic so you guys should all be asking your ideal client avatars out in the universe, what do you guys want help with as it relates to the, to the topic of leadership, but as it relates to the topic of building a business? Ask them and then do just like this, create a free training video on that topic, right? That's how you show up um, and answering questions, right? You should have, if your people are on Facebook, you should have a list of Facebook groups where they hang out. And you should be showing up to those Facebook groups on a weekly basis, looking for questions. You should be sorting the Facebook group by recent post and then looking for the questions people need help with and showing up as an expert and answering their questions and offering to help, right? That's how you show up where your people hang out. Um, I do teach the strategy more in depth how to attract clients uh, in the Corporate to Six Figure Coach Academy. Of course, that's an entire module in, in my program is building a client attraction system. Um, but 
this this is it for today this is kind of the high level how to figure out where your ideal clients hang out drop a comment below what is one thing you will commit to do to figure out where your ideal clients hang out so that you can start showing up there as a credible expert what is one thing you will commit to doing to figuring out where your ideal clients hang out drop a comment below um, so again can't wait to see you guys uh, for the boot camp coming up here again if you're just joining late um, and you haven't already if you need clarity on your niche because I'm telling you I see coaches that they're they're held back from everything building their package getting traction on social media um, attracting clients because the niche and the messaging they still feel fuzzy with that so if you need help with getting clarity on your niche if you feel like your messaging is off some people are like yeah i got a niche but then i look at their copy and their messaging it's vague or it's not clear um, so if you need help with your messaging so that you can market in a way that resonates with your niche um, if you're trying to attract ideal clients to you who will happily pay for your services be sure that you register for the upcoming boot camp um, it is free it is a five-day boot camp. Choose your niche, nail your messaging. It takes place January 24th through January 30th. There is a link to register for the boot camp near the copy of this video. I also dropped it into the comments. Um, so make sure that you register so that I can send you your free 12-page uh, workbook. Uh, can't wait to see you guys there for that. We're going to be doing a lot of giveaways um, and I'm going to be there coaching, coaching my, my butt off all week. So can't wait. Um, have a wonderful week, one and all. I'll see you same time, same place next week on a new topic. If you have a topic you want me to train on, make sure you drop that into the comments as well. Have a wonderful week.